Hey, it's ACAP. Today you're going to learn how to create a multi-port instrument in Logic from scratch to use with Vienna Ensemble Pro. First of all, VSL does offer a multi-port template to get you set up quickly, and I've provided a link to that in the description. However, Logic doesn't import it very well, and you may find some cabling errors in the environment, which you should know how to troubleshoot, so I'm going to start from the ground up. By the end, you should feel comfortable not only to modify VSL's template to your heart's content, but also to create your own from scratch. In Logic, start by creating one software instrument track and 16 external MIDI tracks. Before you go any further, go into your general preferences and disable sample accurate automation. This will help things run a little bit more smoothly when you're working on your projects later on. Now in the environment, create a new layer and I'm gonna rename this VEP. And first, let's create a new multi-instrument. You can definitely cable things across layers, but I prefer to work with the software instrument track that we created in the same layer as the multi-instrument. So just move that over, and we don't need this open anymore. Now let's add a transformer. And just duplicate it with Alt-Drag. And the first transformer is actually just going to be a summing transformer, and you don't need to change anything. Just leave these settings let everything pass through. The second transformer is going to be your first port. So let's first rename it and now change the mode to copy matching events and apply operation in reverse order. Leave status channel data byte one and two set to all. Set status to fix control. Leave channel at through. Set data byte one to 99 and data byte two is going to be your port number. And this is a zero based numbering system. So the first port will be zero. So just subtract one from the port that you want. So port two will have data byte two set to one. Now let's cable everything together. The multi-instrument goes to the port and the port goes to the summing transformer, which goes to the software instrument. Make sure you turn on all the channels and drag the whole multi-instrument onto the first external MIDI track. You'll see that all of them are highlighted. Now, if I only selected the first channel here inside the multi-instrument, you see that only one track is highlighted. So just make sure that you're selecting somewhere in this top bar so that you can select all the channels. Now go to your software instrument track and load the VE Pro plugin. I like to use the multi-output just in case I need more outputs. I don't have to change anything. Now that Logic is set up, let's jump over to Vienna Ensemble Pro Server. Start by creating your first instance. It comes with a free bus, so let's use that to load some instruments. And when you're loading your instruments, it actually doesn't matter if you're using the VST or the audio units version of the plugin. So just for fun, I'm going to use VST. And I'm going to load a multi that I've saved just for this tutorial. Back in Logic, you can now connect to the instance that you just created. You can tell that I am on one machine because the IP address begins with 127. If you're using more than one machine, you probably saw an IP address that began with 192 or something. Because I'm using one machine, I can actually change the buffer to one. But if you're on more than one, you should leave it at two. This button is the decouple plugin button, and this one decouples everything. These buttons determine whether or not Logic remembers all the data that's stored in the VE Pro project. And if you leave it coupled, it may take a long time to save if you have a really big template. So I usually leave it decoupled. You'll also notice at the bottom that you can only use this on preserved instances. So that brings us to this lock here. This is the preserve icon. Honestly, I'm not sure why you'd want to unpreserve your instance, but when you preserve it, it keeps those instruments loaded in VE Pro so that when you close your project and you open a new one, you don't have to wait for everything to reload again. So let's test our multi-instrument. <laughs> You get the idea, you can try out all your channels and you should have 
a different instrument playing for each next channel that you choose. If every channel you go to plays the first instrument, then you should check your software instrument track again. Something funny that Logic sometimes does is it changes this MIDI channel setting to channel one. And this is what that sounds like. Everything's a piano now. So just make sure that this is set to all and you will have all of your different MIDI channels working correctly. Now open up Logic's Mixer and try out some of your instruments. You'll see that the audio is all going through instrument one here. This means that if you add an effect, it'll apply to all those instruments in that instance, which you may not want. To give yourself some more options and some more flexibility, you can add aux channels, which you can do with the plus button down here. For now, I'm just gonna add two. Take note that the channels are automatically incremented for you. And this is channel one, two. Now we need to add those same extra outputs in VE Pro and in Contact. I'm gonna add them in VE Pro first. Same procedure, just click the plus button. And you'll notice that these do not automatically increment. So select all of the new buses you just made and I'll click the first one with the next channel you need. And they should be incremented. Now let's add those outputs in Contact as well. So open up outputs and you'll notice that you only have one stereo output right now, which all of your instruments are still going through. They all say stereo one. So hit the plus button and we're gonna have a total of three outputs that each have two channels and we'll start them from the first channel. Before you hit okay, just make sure you delete existing channels before creating new ones. And now you have three different outputs. So I'm gonna just change the routing for some of these instruments. And now let's test our new routing with this current multi. So piano comes out instrument one, which is channel one, two. All right, so we have that problem that I ran into before. Change this to all, just make sure that's selected. And the trumpet comes out aux one, which is channel three, four. And the vibes come out five, six. And if you switch over to VE Pro and you look in contact, you'll see that the instruments are coming out the correct channels there as well. Now it's time to add a new port. So go back to the environment and you're just going to duplicate your existing multi and port with again, alt drag and they will both be routed to your summing transformer already. While we're here, let's rename the multis so that we can distinguish them. This is command click. And change port one to port two. And remember, you just need to increment data byte two to one. Now we need to create the respective external MIDI tracks. And let's move these out of the way. And just like before, drag the whole multi on top of the first track that you've created. Back over in VE Pro server, let's make a new bus. And I'm gonna name this one first. And once I load the new plugin, I'm gonna need to specify the port that we're using. So I'm gonna change the port for contact to one and the port for play to two. This one on the right is the MIDI channel. I'll get back to that later. I'm gonna load up some instruments in play. I'm just gonna use one of the storm drum multis. To simulate this test again on port two, I'm gonna change some of the outputs of the instruments. Because it's a new port, we do need to add these buses again but we don't need to add them in Logic unless you were using, for example, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm just gonna make sure these increment and then go back into Logic. Now let's test this new port with the mixer open so you can see each output working correctly. And again, if you go back into the Pro, you can see that it's happening on port two now. And over in play, you can open the mixer here. And if you set it up right, it's coming out the correct channel. My next challenge for you is to create a new instance for which you'll have to create a new software instrument track in Logic to connect to and follow these steps all the way from the beginning again, making new ports and new external MIDI tracks that are connected in environment. I'm actually gonna show you my current working template in a bit, but before I do, let's take a look at some of VE Pro's preferences. 
go to the Instances tab and take a look at multiprocessing. The way that you figure out how many threads to use here is you take the number of cores that are available on your machine and you divide that by the number of instances that you're using. Keep in mind that you're going to need some cores free for other processes like your DAW unless you're using VE Pro on a dedicated server machine, in which case you can use up as many cores as you like. In my case, there are 12 cores on this machine and with hyperthreading there are 24 virtual threads and I have six instances in my VE Pro template. So I should choose four, but I still need some room for a DAW and anything else I have open. So I choose three instead. Here is where you can set the number of MIDI ports that you're gonna have available. I've honestly never needed more than six, but maybe you discover you need more based on your needs, but you should just set the lowest number that you're comfortable with. That'll still leave you some room to play with. The same thing goes for these audio ins and outs. I'm gonna save you some headaches later with this one. Uncheck enable parameter tweaking with mouse wheel. This prevents you from accidentally changing the volume in the pen as you scroll through a long list of buses when you're creating your template. And now let's take a look at the default MIDI channel. Since most of my instruments are in multi timbre plugins like Play and Contact, I usually have this set to All. But if you're using Vienna instruments, those are mono timbre plugins, you might want to set this to One so that you don't have to manually change it every time. Okay, so I'm gonna quit this now and get my template loaded for you. And the first thing you need to do is load the VE Pro server so that when Logic loads up, these instruments are already there and the instances are ready to be connected to. While this is loading, I should mention that there is another method for creating other ports in Logic, and that is the event input plugin method. I don't recommend it, honestly. I did try it before and I got it to work, but I found that using the multi-instrument in Logic's environment performs more reliably and doesn't give you nearly as many stuck notes. So this template is actually a couple steps ahead of where I got you to in the tutorial, but I do plan on making a follow-up to give you some additional advice about project organization and making your template as easy as possible to use. As you can see, my instances are roughly organized by instrument group. Here are my woodwinds and brass, just three ports, percussion, this one uses four. My band instance contains stuff like keyboards, pianos, guitars, electric bass. And my last instance is pretty much whatever is left. And I didn't want to have seven instances, so here they all go. You'll also notice that all of my instances are preserved and decoupled. This is because the way I use VE Pro is that I put everything in here that can be used for any project. And things that are project specific, I will put in Logic. Most of these are external MIDI tracks, like I showed you how to make in the tutorial, but some of these are actually instrument tracks or audio tracks and stuff that'll be much easier to edit directly in Logic if I wanna change something that's gonna be project specific. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these tutorials, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Remember to check the description for VSL's multi-port template. Leave a comment if you need clarification and please share if you think someone else might find this helpful. Till next time, stay tuned.